small company dreams and they've taken us and they said we understand that you're disruptive in, in which in the way in which you do things we understand you're young you're hungry we understand that you're about leadership and ownership entrepreneurship etc etc and we are very proud and honored to have um, formed this partnership this type of partnership has never happened before in this country it hasn't happened before in this continent it has happened a little bit in the United States but it's about time that Companies like the groups of the group of companies that have come on board with us, and um, it's about time that South African um, media companies start um, coming up with innovative ways of embracing not just talent but potential in a lot of young entrepreneurs and moving with the times in how media is consumed or content is consumed and created and broadcasted to the public. So we believe with our latest partnership, we will be in the forefront of um, changing the game. So take a look at this video. Say the best are the ones that change the game. History in the making. Never be done before. Two radio stations. One man. One breakfast. One mic. Fourth July. 6 a.m. I'm back, baby. I am. <laughs> Yes. Thank you very much. I really appreciate the love. I appreciate the warmth. You give me a bit of confidence. Um, I was born for broadcasting. I, I was born for it. Yes, I'm a township yes. kid that went into the township schools that didn't get the privilege of going to multiracial or private school. But today I'm a, a force to be reckoned with in the broadcasting industry. I'm a force to be reckoned with as an entrepreneur. And I'm, a for, I'm dangerous because I'm both streetwise and smart. Yes, <laughs> I, I, thank you. <laughs> Somebody may ask, like, why is this breaking news? Why is it game changing? Well, I'll tell you why is it game changing. This breakfast show will be on two radio stations at the same time. Somebody asks, how? Technic technically, so. We're going to empower talents from the regions, and we're not going to become a Johannesburg show. A lot of you guys would know that I come from the entertainment industry, and you know, we travel a lot. So almost every other week, I'm going to be in between Gauteng, broadcasting from the Times Media Group Studios, Mpumalanga, Rise FM Studios, Vuma FM, um, KZN Studios. I want to go touch the communities there. I want to go visit schools. I want to go to taxi ranks. I want to go to shopping malls. I want to go to nightclubs. I want to go set up leadership 2020 seminars. I want to get in touch with younger entrepreneurs in those regions. I want to become a face and I want to be on the ground in the community. I've done it before. The syndication of radio and TV, we've also done. 2008, some of you guys would remember, I used to host the YFM Breakfast Show. We're doing with, um, it was YFM on the radio side. We had partnered with Soweto TV, so we had the cameras in the studio. So what's going to happen with this is, while the listeners are listening to the radio on Vuma and um, and um, Rise FM, we're also going to put in cameras into the studio, and the viewers, the three point something million viewers from Soweto TV, and the two point something million viewers from One K Z N, who are going to follow up um, onto onto um, our situation, are going to be broadcasting to their viewers. So it's basically two radio stations. Yeah, give it up. And uh, it's television, and I think it's beautiful. And I think with that being said, I'd like to close off by saying the type of deal that they have given us was, was, was not only to accommodate us, but was to empower us mm. and put us in a position of practicing what we preach and what we love, which is our Leadership 2020 movement with our empowerment project. And if we perform because it's a partner, if we don't perform because it's a partnership, we all know nothing is ever personal. Business is business. You don't show me returns, and then we kiss each other goodbye, which is great. But on the other hand, if I show you returns, I'm not only going to bring you numbers, I'm not only going to make you money, I am going to become your um, potential lifetime partner. Mm. Yeah. Because Woo, yes. for me, the key word, and I preach this all the time, the key word, ownership. And especially to my young brothers and sisters out there who are talented presenters. We get hired, we come up the ladder, we become superstars, we become seasoned broadcasters. When there's a newer version and a younger and a fresher and a smarter Smoo comes on board, Smoo gets fired and it's the next guy. The cycle is the same all the time. No presenters have ever been put in a position of 
owning these mediums because a lot of them benefit through the talent. Woo! So we're really proud for them to be forward thinking and to be doing such a deal with us. So thank you very Amen. much for being the gentleman.